Namaste yogis. Welcome to part two of our three-part series on helping to reduce knee pain. Remember the idea of these videos is that as you progress in your practice, you're able to stack them and layer them on each other. So at first only doing level one, then moving on to combine level one and now level two, and then eventually adding all three videos together to make one phenomenal uh, protocol or practice to help reduce your knee pain. So today we're gonna to focus on three exercises to kind of take uh, your knee strength, flexibility, and mobility to the next level. So let's start on our backs and we'll bring the feet wider than the mat for some windshield wipers. Okay, so the first move we're gonna do is the windshield wiper. So you'll come to a lying position, a supine position, and then take the soles of your feet to the mat. And now widen your stance so that the feet are wider than the mat. So you actually put the feet on the floor beside the mat. Yes, perfect. Now, on your exhalation, you're gonna draw the knees down to one side and really extend through this muscle here. So all the way from the low rib, all the way through the thigh, the top of the thigh, down through the knee. So you want this line of energy, like you're trying to draw the knee to touch the floor. Now you notice her knees are not touching the floor, but she is sending tons of energy intending them towards the floor. That's the key to this move. So on your inhalation, you're coming up through center lengthening through the tailbone, relaxing the shoulders, and on the exhale, reaching, again, from low rib down, 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 trying to send the knees to the floor. So taking this a few times dynamically, I'd say at least minimum five times to each side. So for our second move, uh, we actually wanna make sure that we are stretching the area around the knee, so we wanna make sure that the quad muscle is strengthened and stretched, one of the ways is through this uh, move here. So um, if you are still at the beginning of your journey and you're finding that your core strength isn't so strong yet and this is causing you to be a bit unstable, you can always modify it by taking the fingers to the wall and we'll show that um, in just a moment. So for now, I'm gonna have her do it with the hands down. First thing to consider is where are your feet? So we wanna make sure the alignment is important. So if you look down at the feet, you want the uh, second toe in line with your shin. So she's gotta adjust her feet here to make sure she's in proper alignment. Perfect, D uh, ground grounding into the right foot. She'll start to bend the left knee and take the ankle into her hand. So here you want the knee totally in line with the hip. So let's draw that knee in line with the hip. And now it becomes about your intention. So she could just stand here and it's great, but what gives it more power is if you start to reach down. Do you feel the difference? Yes, like when you're reaching down through the thigh, sending the knee to try to touch the floor. That's the sensation here. As you do this, be really mindful of the belly, keeping belly muscles in and up, and shoulders relaxed. So drawing the heel towards the bum and lengthening through the quad to give that stretch around the knee. Again, if you have some issues with your balance, you can take the fingertips. Notice how her hand is right in line with her shoulder and her elbow is drawing in close to the rib cage. So it doesn't affect her alignment whatsoever, just fingertips resting on the wall. Um, after we do our quad stretch on both sides, go ahead and release that. We're gonna do some different movements that can help to strengthen the muscles around the knee and the ligaments around the knee. So this also involves using our core strength and again, if you find yourself a little bit out of balance, it's okay, you can take the fingertips to the wall like we did before. So let's show using um, our outside leg. You can root into the right foot. So first things first, don't assume your alignment is correct. Often we carry patterns in our body that cause our knee pain and those patterns tend to leave our feet a little wonky. So every time you come to an exercise, make sure you look down at your feet and correct those toes. So second toes in line with the shin bone, pointed straight forward. Um, we're gonna take the outside leg and extend it straight. Heel pressing out, so you're flexing the foot. Yes, so we can take these little movements forward and then back to center. And then just raising it right in the kill zone. So raise the leg just to touch my hand. There you go, and then back to center. Now, if you wanna add more power to this, you can always use a resistance band to give it more oomph but even doing it without can be powerful. 
So we want to take it all four directions. So after you do maybe 10 rounds of just straight forward, she can start to um, do the abductors. So as the leg comes out to here, now pressing in, yes, and taking it back out to center in line with the hip, and then, so touch my hand, yep, and then back in across the other foot. Yes, back out, and back in. So again, 10 times this way. Now we're gonna take it back. So right to the kill zone. <laughs> so touch my hand here. So it's not too far. Back to center, and back to my hand. All right, and then finally take the foot back out forward. And I'll show you to the left. It's the same idea where you're taking the foot just out to the left using the flexion in the foot the entire time. Go ahead and lower your leg. This flexion in the foot is very important because it keeps the ligaments and muscles around the knee active and you're really trying to focus energy to these muscles. So when you flex and press through the foot, um, you're helping the strength to be built in the right spot. So taking these movements at least 10 times, um, at least one time on each leg. As you progress through this series, you uh, want to progress your, um, your rounds of this. So you can take it three times, or three rounds of 10, right? So working your way up from one round of 10 each of the four ways to three rounds of 10 each of the four ways. When that starts to become easy, then we can progress on to the third uh, video and start to add on more strength building moves. So hopefully this is helping your knee pain I know it's been helping Christine's. <laughs> and uh, experiment with this in your practice. Hope to see you on level three as your knees progress and gain more strength and flexibility. Namaste, yogis. <laughs> <laughs>